have you ever wondered what is actually connecting us? What can we do in order to engage into something? For example, if you want to be in a relationship with somebody, or if you want to grab a golden opportunity, so what you should do? The number one action I would suggest is we have to volunteer our information. We have to tell people something that we want. Like, if you miss somebody, how can you make him or make her know? The simplest and straightforward approach is just tell them we miss them. And if you are too shy, you can actually send a WhatsApp text. But here, now I wanted to point out the difference between saying it out and also write it out. So imagine if one day there is a stranger approach you and politely say hello. You might think that he or she is asking for help or asking for a favor. But what if if you heard, hey hello? So now you should know that you are the one who might need some help. So this is the idea I wanted to tell you. Text doesn't really help in conveying the emotion, but we can easily feel the emotion by listening to it. However, not everyone is that fortunate and also healthy as most of us. Some of them might be suffering from different diseases which make them lose their ability to speak. It may be due to accident, the brain injury, the vocal cord damage and so on. Being unable to speak might slow them down in engaging themselves into the society and hence making them feel isolated. Another amazing usage of our voice is it actually tells who we are. Without exactly and physically looking at you, I can still recognize you by listening to your voice. Our voice is actually carrying our identity. Our voice is our trademark. But does it indirectly imply that losing our voice is equal to losing our identity? So here, I wanted to share with you one of the video clips which I depicted from a movie, maybe it's 10 years ago. Let's have a look. guy in order to speak some words in order to capture the voice characteristic and features 
and then the agent can use the recording to quickly train a talking machine in order to talk using his voice. Ten years back, this technology is looked incredibly advanced and impossible. But nowadays, it has been realized. Under the effort of Center of Speech Technology Research from the University of Edinburgh, which I formerly attached to. So the name of this technology is called Hidden Markov Model Speech Synthesis System. This is a system which is able to speak whatever language in order you give the correct input. When people talk about speech synthesis system, they will think that this is a playback from our recording. However, this is not a playback. Playback having a limitation which is it is only able to speak the recording within our recorded database. But with this system, it is actually using our recorded voice characteristic in order to construct a new and novel words. So let's take a look of how does it work. This is our voice speech waveform. Even though it looks like a super messy and complicated wave combination, but if we take a look using a magnifier or a microscope, we can actually see the constant sounding unit with a minimum time frame. So this constant sounding unit is called phoneme. So this is called phoneme. So this phoneme is actually the basic uh, basic language unit in every language. So taking English as an example, our basic unit constituted to this phoneme is actually our alphabet. So one good thing about the alphabet is each alphabet only consists of a constant sounding unit only. So let's take a look. With this implementation, we can easily blend them into the hidden Markov model that I have mentioned earlier. But what is a hidden Markov model? Hidden Markov model is actually a finite step machine which is able to change to generate a sequential discrete time observation throughout the time. So when the each time unit has passed, it will change the state according to the stage transition probability. So meaning that the probability to stay within the state or jump into the next state can be actually trained by us by giving the correct input. So how does this hidden Markov model help in speech synthesis? We can actually imagine each model is actually a baby. But why baby? Because we don't teach baby difficult things. We only teach baby simple things. So that is the reason in each model, we only train with only one alphabet. So let's take the perspective in an overall. So if we want to synthesize the words that we want to say, Firstly, we have to construct the words using the alphabet and then this alphabet will hence be matched with the corresponding hidden Markov models and these hidden Markov models will release the constant sounding, the sounding coefficient and when we put them all together in a sequence and make them speak together, this sequential sounding is actually make up our speech. So now, we understand how does this work. But our next problem is, does it exactly sound like what we wish for? Our synthetic voice should have the accuracy as well. So let's take a pop quiz. I prepared a pop quiz for all of you. Can anybody exactly pronounce these two words correctly without any problem? So the first word is called prepare. But the second word is called preparation. What's the difference? The difference is, the first E is sounded differently when they were put in a different word. So we as the human, we can easily distinguish the difference, but how can our talking machine to speak the difference? So in order to maintain the accuracy, we have incorporated artificial intelligence in order to classify different pronunciation. Artificial intelligence requires some classifiers in order to tell the difference and also make the decision. So we have to find out a way in order to see what is the difference between the words. In a simpler saying, we can actually make use the word combination in order to make the classifier. So look at the words. Look at the letter around the alphabet. They can easily become our classifier. So therefore, with this implementation, 
our artificial intelligence is able to improve our synthetic speech in terms of the intelligibility. So this speech synthesis system can actually do what we can expect. The researchers never stop after they develop this program. They strongly believe that our voice is actually carrying more than ourselves. So here, I wanted to introduce to you a big voluntary project which is called Speak Unique. This is a multidisciplinary done by the University of Edinburgh and also the Ian McDonald Center for Motor Neuron Disease Research. What they do is basically to create a personalized digital voice for communication aid simply and effectively. The motivation behind this project is when our speech becomes impaired, we tend to use the augmentative and alternative communication in order to get our message across. This approach can range from a simple strategies such as our gestures or any voice output communication aid in order to project the synthetic speech. However, many users complain that this kind of synthetic speech doesn't really reflect their identity and they were forced to choose only from a limited selection of voices which only maybe one or two is come from the same country. It may never be occurred to you previously, but our speech is actually as unique as our walk, as our eyes, or even our fingerprint. Our voice is the basic component in order to build up our image and our identity. So what they are actively doing is the voice banking. So voice banking is a project which is they will collect a lot of different voice samples around the globe because they want to use the voice in order to make a collection of data collection. And in order to help this project, voice banking can actually help in two ways. So first, if you are foreseeing you are going to lose your voice in future, where I hope that it will not happen, so you can actually make a voice banking in order to let them customize a voice bank, a talking machine, using your own voice. However, the second approach, it can be, we can actually merge different voices in order to create, to customize your personalized voice in order to speak something like your voice. So therefore here, with this idea, let me show you a successful case about how this Speak Unique project successfully help a person in order to regain the voice. I'm Ian McDonald. I'm from Edinburgh. I'm Ian McDonald. I'm from Edinburgh. And I explained that Edinburgh University where I studied law. I'm an ex student at Edinburgh University where I studied law. So now, can you see the hardship for those who are unable to speak in order to articulate again? This is not easy. So we, as the healthy people, we have a healthy voice, should be always grateful of what we have. We should always watch our words because we are not being given a voice to hurt people. But if you want to do more, you can actually sign up to become a voice donor in order to contribute to the Speak Unique project. Your voice could actually help. So now, why are we trying that hard in order to help you to regain your voice? We have a lot of different approaches in order to get our message around. Losing our voice does not mean that is the end of the world, right? However, the reason behind is, even though nowadays we have a lot of different approach to deliver your message, but sometimes we still wish to feel the love even though our eyes are closed. And that's all I want to share, and thank you for lending me your ears. Thank you.